Hey everyone, it's Vivi and uh, let's talk about our uh, favorite raccoon, Sly Cooper. Hmm, <laughs> haven't heard that name in a video in a while. <laughs> I know. Now just a heads up, this video won't be like a hyping up type of thing, okay? I don't want to get your hopes up, let's not do that. Also, this video, well, the purpose of it will be pretty much to go over the history of quote-unquote updates we've gotten for the whole TV show slash movie situation. For those of you who are new to this channel, I feel like this will be useful. Going through the comments all the time, some still bring up the Sly Cooper movie. Hey, what's happening with that? It was announced in 2014, like, what the heck happened to that? It's been like, uh, five years now. To the majority, it feels like it's cancelled. We never got the official word cancelled from neither of the companies involved, but people have been using the term shelved. But to many of us at this point, the movie's been scrapped and replaced by the TV show, for now. CEO of Blockade Entertainment believes that the movie will happen second, but this tweet right here was a long time ago, so keep that in mind. All assets, at this point, we can say the assets from the movie have moved to Technicolor, the new team behind, you know, the Sly Cooper project, the TV show more precisely. They even use the teaser of the movie as their concept on their channel. Rainmaker Entertainment is no longer involved, but Blockade will still have a role to play. I remember making a little rant video, expressing my frustration on how this was handled. Oh, and did I forget to mention, remember this website? Yes, it's still up, rest in peace 2016. Haha, <laughs> funny. Blockade's website. Well, it says still in development. Is this relevant at this point? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's been like that for a very long time. Well, technically, yes, Blockade is still involved, but I don't know, this page hasn't been touched for years. It feels that way. Um, Num, for example, I have no clue what the heck is happening with that one. But anyways, as I said in the beginning, I'm gonna go over, like, the history of updates. So let's get started. January 2014, the movie gets announced. We got a trailer on YouTube. Planned 2016 release. From 2014 to 2016, basically for two years, it's been dry season because of Ratchet and Clank. That movie was produced by the same teams, Blockade and Rainmaker. And at a point, we realized that the Ratchet and Clank movie suffered a delay. It was planned for 2015, got released in 2016. And with that, a bunch of people got worried that, oh, Sly Cooper's gonna get delayed. That's just the beginning, folks, okay? March 2016, Kevin Monroe, writer and director for the Sly Cooper movie confirmed in 2014, was still not contacted. There was an interview with IGN, a video, okay? Monroe was director and writer, so we thought. But he was still waiting for that phone call. Alright then, June 2016, movie was still apparently in development by Rainmaker. Just a heads up, I'm gonna be showing a lot of uh, screenshots of messages to Rainmaker. Fans messaging Rainmaker. This, they've been saying this to everyone. That the movie's still in development, it's still in development. We love Sly Cooper, don't worry, it's still in development. Merry go around type situation. September 2016. Rainmaker says the movie is not coming out in 2017 and that the cast is still unknown. Again, someone messages Rainmaker. A movie planned for 2016 and the cast still unknown. Already a bunch of red flags appearing, right? January 2017. Concept and script apparently in development. Again, a fan sends a message to Rainmaker. At this point, all of these replies you see right now, they're from social media. May 2017. The movie being shelved rumor on Deviant Art. Yes, I am surprised. Well, I was surprised. If you're new, you're probably surprised. Like, Deviant Art out of all places, really? Trust me, I had the same reaction. And there was also a TV show rumor within this blog over on Deviant Art. And I do remember this one. I, for one, refused to believe this because one, it was Deviant Art, and two, I mean, anyone can write this, right? Someone at Rainmaker mentions a small screen adaptation. Still, we're talking about May 2017. And then there was a discussion going on, like, what do they mean by small screen adaptation? And look, this is someone from Rainmaker again. We move on to, oh, it's in development and all that, and then to small screen adaptation. Like, what? Same month, Kevin Monroe eventually deletes his Twitter. I guess he was fed up of fan replies like what's going on with the movie and all that. And in that same month, I believe he shared this, an extract from a book which has the term Sony, dropped by Sony, perhaps being a reference that he was dropped from Sony. Next, June 2017, Rainmaker says they're no longer working on the movie. Should we even have been surprised at that point? I don't think so. All of these replies they've been doing back and forth, people would start 
getting skeptical. And this was the start of my rant. At this point I was frustrated. Not because the movie wasn't happening or there was no movie yet. No, just the whole entire situation. If a company is not sure of what's going on with a film, don't reply to people. Because one reply can get blown out of proportion and cause a lot of disappointment and backlash. And that's what happened with Rainmaker. Same month, June 2017, TV show announced. Articles popping left and right. Technicolor animation. The ones behind Sonic Boom to work on Sly Cooper. And Sony's involved as well. Same month, Dave Madden, art director of Sly 1 to 3, reveals that he's been consulting the show over on Twitter. August 2017, TV show is in pre-production, explained by CEO of Blockade Entertainment, Brad Foxoven. Sly Cooper the movie never entered pre-production. Pre-production comes after development, so already it appears that the TV show is being handled better. Or so we thought. Okay, we got the word pre-production in 2017, right? And then in 2018, Brad Foxhoven decides to use the words active development. Either he's just interchanging the terms, or something happened and they had to step back. So do you now understand the whole merry-go-round situation with the whole TV show and movie? It's quite unfortunate. October 2017, the 11th most screened show at MIP Junior, an event which happens in France every year. A bunch of creators, teams come together and pitch their idea to a network. Sly was in the top 20, which is great. January 2018, Dave Madden, interview with PGS. You can find this one over on PGS's website. And for those of you wondering what is PGS, well, it's the distributor for the show and the whole brand management. Same month, TV show receives five stars for its first script, again revealed by PGS, by Philippe Souté, one of the uh, co-founders of the company. February 2018, rumor of Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network turning down the show. Again, rumor guys, okay, we're, we're not sure. Apparently Cartoon Network just uh, said no, and Nickelodeon thought it was too mature. <laughs> yeah, I know, it sounds funny. Take it as a rumor. Sly Cooper being too mature, like what? Yeah, I know. I know what you're thinking right now. March 2018, new art and show format found on Technicolor's website. I'm being honest here, no one knows if this piece of artwork was there on their website all along. It just so happens that people started discussing this in March 2018. It was brought to our attention. July 2018, season one premiere date leaked October 2019. This was found under the franchise section on PGS's website. The information got deleted after I guess they found out that people were talking about it. The format is basically 52 episodes of 11 minutes each. The first half would have begun in October. We don't know now, it got taken down. Is it getting delayed or... They probably took it down so we don't blow it out of proportion. February 2019, Technicolor teases that news is coming soon under their comment section. The video that says welcome to Technicolor's channel. They deleted their comment. I'm I'm not sure when they deleted their comment, but they did reply once with the words, soon soon. At this point, the whole situation with Rainmaker? Perhaps they're becoming self-aware that replying to people or teasing left and right is just gonna end up misleading people. They don't want people to start talking about it and, you know, give them a bad image. But, I mean, March 2019, CEO of Blockade, Brad Foxhoven, teases people on Twitter that we're getting stuff soon, but really, this same person on Twitter has said a similar thing in the past. So I'm just taking his words with a grain of salt, okay? I don't want to hype people. As for other things, we still do not know if original voice actors are part of the cast. We don't even know about the network it's gonna air on. PGS, by the way, does have a close relationship with Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney. I'm not saying Sly might end up on one of those networks. Don't get your hopes up. Regardless of a rumor we got a couple months ago. It could really be part of PlayStation Originals. A channel on PlayStation View, a streaming service which is currently exclusive to the US. Yes, I know, it sounds scary. Imagine having Sly Cooper on a network which is exclusive to the United States. I hope Sony figures this out, because if you want the show to be viewed, to get views and all that, don't just air it in one country, okay? So with that being said, guys, 
I want to finish off the video by saying at this point, I'm not really gonna go with what Brad Fox Owen recently said, okay? If we do get a trailer, expect it to drop randomly. Sony's not gonna make a presence at E3 this year. But do remember, Sony now has this short live stream called State of Play, which is a similar to Nintendo's Direct, which usually most of the time only showcase games. So I'm not really expecting a trailer for the TV show to appear during one of Sony's State of Play, okay? Remember how we got the teaser for the movie out of nowhere? That type of situation, okay? So with that being said guys, this is it. If you have questions or anything, please leave it in the comments section below. And as always, I've been Vivi and thank you for watching.